welcome back to another career conversation with Amanda. I'm here with Natasha Plum from the Georgia Department of Audits and Accounts. Um, and today we're going to be talking about why starting the recruitment process early can help you in your career process. Um, so welcome, Natasha. If you want to introduce yourself and give a little background on Georgia DOAA. Thank you very much for having me. Um, sure. So I am I'm happy to be here. This is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I have been with the department for 21 years, um, recruiting college students, onboarding. Um, so I have a, a big passion for helping students find, find their next job. Um, the Department of Audits and Accounts is a state agency. We are 100 years old next year. Wow. And our function is we um, we perform external audits for the state of Georgia. We um, are a little bit different from other state agencies. So we report to the legislature and not the governor. And that gives us independence to go into other state agencies and audit them. So we are focusing our audits on the public colleges, universities, technical schools, school boards, and state agencies. So we do KSU's audit. Um, <laughs> We are based out of Atlanta, but we had eight regional offices around the state before the pandemic, and we are still virtual. So the way we're handling our workforce is students can live anywhere in the state and we'll just assign them to um, an audit that's closest to them. So um, our goal right now is to serve our clients by going to meet them in the field if they want us there, but not necessarily going into the office. Um, we do have, we do financial audits, but we also for our accounting majors have some career paths where they can do IT audits and also data analytics. So there's a lot of room for growth and, and exposure to, to different things throughout the department. And we do not require the 150 hours. So if a student needs to work after they get their bachelor's, trying to figure out what they need to do, it's a great place to start. Great. Yeah, that is, that's wonderful. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So what do we mean by the recruitment process? Okay, so um, I think that in, in my 21, 20 plus years of recruiting students, the students that are most successful are those students who are good with relationships because the recruiting process is not just applying for a job and then doing an interview. It starts when you, be, when you declare accounting, mm -hmm. um, trying to figure out what you wanna do. There's so many things you can do in an accounting major. You can do audit, you can do tax, you can do accounting, back office accounting. Um, advisory, consulting, um, but it's really about trying to figure out what means the most to you. So when you're looking to figure that out, you need to build relationships, and that's with your professors, um, getting on LinkedIn, following companies that you admire or you think you want to work for, um, going to career fairs, going to career services, um, talking to those people about how you can maybe um, find a mentor. Yeah. Um, I actually have followed students and hired them all the way from their junior year through their master's degree. They've come to see me every single year. I hold on to their resumes. So that, that's what I mean about relationships. It's um, not putting all your eggs in one basket, but, but just you know reaching out to someone in tax or reaching out to someone in audit and trying to figure out what is your work environment like and, and match it to what, to what you want your career to be. Um, Beyond relationships, it's getting involved in campus, um, uh, you know, campus activities, and then getting down to the point where you're actually doing the research on the companies, applying, and then going through that process. So it really, really starts probably back when you're a, a late sophomore. Yeah, absolutely. We we talk about how accounting recruitment starts so early, especially with other majors within the College of Business. You know, a lot of students' friends might be waiting until junior, senior year to really think about what they want to do with their degree. And it's so difficult for accounting students to do that. So starting early is is definitely something that that students would want to do. Um, so you mentioned a lot of, you know, what the recruitment process looks like and how early that you can start looking at what you might want. Um, what do students need to be prepared for recruiting? And when we think about maybe sort of the later um, idea of like getting ready to start looking for internships. Okay, that, that's an excellent question. And I think it's something that all students need to think about, definitely. Um, doing your research, um, absolutely, on the type of industry you want to, to to pursue or, um, you know, where you want to live and, um, you know, do you want to climb a corporate ladder? Do you want to have work-life balance? That's all really important, but also getting involved on campus in whether it's um, an accounting program or not, um, doing leadership activities, um, going to career fairs. 
going to different um, organizations just to kind of do some networking and, and get your name out there. Networking is not always comfortable for people and even, even you know, people who've been in the industry, um, but it's something that will come easier and it will help you understand a little bit more about yourself. So I think really doing that back work will, will do you a lot of good in the very end. Um, if you go into a career fair cold, you haven't researched any of the companies and you're just wandering from table to table, what the, what the recruiters are saying is not gonna mean a lot to you. Right. So um, if, if that's the one thing I can drill into people is please just do your research um, and then just go from there and, and keep an open mind to know that that may change. But as you do the research, you'll find, I think more of what you don't want um, that will help you out. Yeah, so it sounds like, you know, doing that research and then networking allows us to learn more about ourselves. I know that was difficult for me going through recruitment process when I was in college. So is that why it would be a good idea to start early? Does it really start, you know, drilling down of what do I want when I leave college or what type of life do I want to live? Is that why it would be a good idea to start early? Absolutely. I mean, and it's okay to change your mind. I mean, we've had students who've come in through an internship program and they've realized, you know what? audit really isn't for me. I think I'm going to try tax. So that's why you start early. So you have that time or that buffer um, that if you make a mistake or you, you change, um, you know, something about your lifestyle changes, you can pick up and you can kind of, you know, keep pace with everything else. Right. So speaking of internships, when should students begin thinking about internships? I think definitely after you take intermediate one, um, yeah. that's kind of the, the make it or break it kind of class where you really understand is, is accounting for me. Um, so maybe like the second semester of your junior year. Um, but if, you know, in a perfect world, maybe you can do more than one. I know that that doesn't fit into everybody's schedule, but you can look at different industries. Um, like I said, we've had people who've come in and they're like, yes, audit is what I wanted and I wanna stay and that works for us. But then for those who don't, they have an opportunity to go out and, and do something different. Um, I'm not going to say that the recruiting process is perfect for anybody. A lot of people are going to fall into a job and it's not necessarily what they wanted. But um, the more you get out there and the more you learn, I think you can make better choices. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, it, the two internship idea. So, you know, we, we get credit for one. Um, but if you can try to do one in the summer when you have a little bit more time, um, you know, and they're paid, paid internships are are great to be able to, um, you know, fund yourself for the summer and then hopefully, um, you know, last you through the fall semester or whatever that looks like. Um, so, yeah, being able to get that exposure in audit and tax or other other agencies that we don't necessarily think about um, and and that that would be intelligent to do. Yeah. And even if you can't find an internship that fits into your schedule, I know Kennesaw has a lot of opportunities, like through Beta Alpha Psi, where people come in and talk. Also, job shadowing. Yeah. Um, they have the bench, the bench program. So there's a lot of different things where you can just get like a hands-on experience and just maybe get a taste um, for things. There's a lot of um, organizations out there where executives or you know um, professionals will you know, sit down one-on-one -on -one and, you know, have like short meetings, you know, be a mentor, just anything that you can do to reach out and just kind of grab little tidbits about an industry will really help you in the long run. Yeah, I think what's great about our accounting program is the exposure that students get to Absolutely. industry and partners and, you know, companies, whatever that is. So we have a lot of faculty members that will bring in practitioners that will help teach a topic um, or like you said, beta alpha psi meetings and panels and mock interviews, career prep, all of that to take as much um, advantage of the support and resources that are offered. Um, I think that's that's great. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't I can't say enough about the, the resources that Kennesaw's um, program has for their students. We appreciate that <laughs> for sure. Um, do you have any other last advice or thoughts on why it's important to start the recruitment process early? Um, I, one thing I always tell students, and I, 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 I'm probably repeating myself, but I, I can't say it enough. Um, do, do your research. Really, really think about what means a lot to you. Um, I mean, I came out of school thinking I wanted, you know, corporate America and, and I had this, you know, picture in my mind and I did it for five years and it really did burn me out. And I realized I wasn't being honest with myself. So I use myself as as a benchmark. Mm -hmm. um, but as much as you can do to think about 
um, you know, work-life balance. You know, if you want to climb a corporate ladder, that, that's great. Um, but check in with friends, you know, talk to people who have done internships. Use every single resource you can. Um, when, when I was in college, we didn't have the internet. So those resources weren't there, but really think about the people around you. I mean, even if you have family, friends, somebody who could be a mentor, somebody who's been there, done that. Um, again, it's just research, research, research. I, I can't tell you how many times students have come up to me and had no idea what we, what we did you know, at a career fair. And I'm happy to tell them, but you can see, you know, it may not be what they're looking for. And so, um, you know, I just really just use the resources at school and, and online. Um, LinkedIn is amazing. They've got groups. Um, that you can join. So there's a lot of resources out there and definitely, you know, utilize the accounting department, um, your services, Amanda, as well as career services. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for talking about this today. You're very, you're very, very welcome. Thank you guys for having me. Um, I really hope you guys got something out of it um, because you guys do an amazing job and, and the students need to know that they're, they're very honored to have you um, in that position. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.